everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i'm jamie and today i'm going to do a look with the makeup mafia for valentine's day <clears throat> now i've been used uh, lately been starting with my brows so let's just get um started right off <clears throat> with brows and i got this in my boxy charm um a couple days ago it's the brow bar and i really like it it comes like this it's kind of fancy and it has all that in there so i will start off by doing my brows because that's how i do my routine now and i'll speed you up <laughs> Okay, so I have them carved out. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to put my <clears throat> foundation on. I'm going to use the Filter FX Soft Focus Foundation by Morphe. I just bought this yesterday. I think it's a little light for me, but once I get my blush, bronzer, all that jazz on, it should be fine. So, yeah, look at it. It's, I mean, I'm white, but that's a little bit too white for me, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Once I get all my makeup on, <clears throat> like I'll have my blush, bronzer, everything on, around here. So it kind of be okay for the center to be a little bit more white. So it should be okay. But we'll see. I'm going to bounce it in with the beauty blender. Um, I just spilled a whole bunch of water all over me. That's great because I'm just <laughs> wetting this. And uh, I'm just going to bounce that in. I will fast forward you. Okay, I think I like it, but it does feel really lightweight. I'll give it that, but I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> see how it wears on today. Um, we'll see. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow, Glow Setting Powder. It's the bun in the pink. Since I'm a pink undertone person, kind of, I guess. I don't know. I feel like maybe my skin has changed a little. I don't know. But... I, it does look pretty. I think this foundation does look pretty. So that's the gist of the base of my makeup. So <clears throat> I'm thinking about starting a new series on my channel. 
I gotta think about it more before I actually give out details. Because I don't want no one, like, giving me... I, I want to make decisions. I don't want people saying yes, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do what I want to do. But anyways, now on to the eyes. I'm gonna use my tape. So I have that crisp line for like a, a winged out type of look. What I always do is I just take tape, put it on the back of my hand, make it not so sticky, put it right on the eye area. Uh, and uh, darn it, <laughs> let's get it straight. And then like if the tape takes off any of your makeup, you can just um, kind of just use your beauty blender that you put your foundation on with and roll with punches like that. But anyways, I'm gonna use this palette by Too Faced, the um, <clears throat> Marielle Amor Caliente. That's what I'm gonna use. That's what I bought it for in the first place. It's really pretty. And so I'm just going to start with some of these um, brushes I got in my BoxyCharm. They have a really cute little um, heart confetti type stuff in there. And they kind of just move like that. <laughs> but I'm going to start with... <clears throat> hmm, what do I want to start with? I'm going to start with Hot and Spicy right here. Starting... Um, off like right by that tape to wing it out and just kind of build up the outside in the crease so it will kind of build the outer portion of the eye look like so and I'll do both of them on here with you. I usually do. I know a lot of people will do it on one eye and then do it off camera, but I'm relatively fast at doing my makeup, so I can pretty much do both on camera. And I'm gonna take that and put it all the way in towards the inner portion of my eye. I think I feel like they look different. This one's more I don't know. Maybe they don't. I don't care. <laughs> when it comes down to it, <clears throat> it'll look fine. Okay, so I have that, and I'm going to do a color switch on this brush, because I like this brush. And I'm going to take <clears throat> Senorita, and I'm going to kind of go over that to blend it out, soften it a bit. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You know me, I just woke up and then, like, when I wake up, I just have that. Where I have to, like, clear my throat. My bad. And then I'm going to go into <clears throat> Frenchie, I think it says. Yeah, Frenchie. Right here. And go even higher up. Almost towards the eyebrow, but not quite at the eyebrow, you know what I'm saying? And kind of just make it, so it really does look pretty. I'm gonna take a more fluffy brush and kind of do some blending. I'll fast forward you. Okay, so I'm going to take <clears throat> the hot and spicy again and just kind of go over that again. Since we blended, I'm going to make that darker. And I think that looks pretty good. And on the eyelid, I'm going to take, <clears throat> let me see, what do I want to take on the eyelid? Um, a Marcito which is this very pink, um, bright, like magenta, I'd say. And let's just kind of put that on the inner. And that's our pop of color. 
and I'm gonna uh, do some stuff with eyeliner too, hopefully. So just kind of pretty that up. And I wanna go back into the hot and spicy once more. I wanna make sure that out, outer corner, I'm using a flat brush and I think that's working better. Yeah, it is. And I just wanna make sure that gets like really saturated on the outer part of my eye. Like so. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of hot and spicy underneath also. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take this is a Coca-Cola brush um, with Morphe. I'm just gonna take the Senorita again and I'm gonna go back over everything and do some blending. I think that looks pretty good so far. Let's reveal the corner. And if you get like something like that where it's <clears throat> kind of angular, like you don't want it like that, <clears throat> just take a brush, let me color switch, and just kind of, you can kind of round it out. It works for me pretty much every time. And then just kind of go over that. You can just round that right out. I don't know about this, I don't know about this, uh, foundation. Oh, it looks kind of good, right? <clears throat> I'm not going to stir it up too much between because it, I feel like it looks, it will start looking muddy. So <clears throat> I'm going to go up also with Love Me by the brow area just to make sure it's all kind of blended. That looks pretty. Makes my eyes look pretty big. <clears throat> like I said time and time again, it's a good um, color for green eyes. The reds, purples, burgundies. So I'm lucky because that looks good. Okay, I'm going to take some sort of eyeliner who does this i'm gonna take this black eyeliner by tristique i just got this in my boxy charm i'm gonna do the waterline and then i will take my wherever it went. Gotta find my eyeliner. <clears throat> but I can't find it. Maybe this one. This one might be okay. This is the Araceli one. I'm just gonna do my eyeliner. It looks a little messy, but I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll kind of smudge it out. <clears throat> so I'll just leave that for now. And for the fun part, I'm gonna take out my eyeliner drawer. If I still have it, hopefully I do. <clears throat> well, I think I'm just gonna go in with this one. <clears throat> and it's called the Vivid Brights and it's Vivid Petal. I'm gonna make some little hearts, so I'll probably
Okay, so I got the hearts on there. I probably shouldn't put them further up because when I look down, they kind of disappear, but that's okay. They look cute. So <clears throat> they're not perfect. They kind of look like pixelated hearts, whatever. So I'm gonna go in with my Park Avenue Princess and bronze or like contour bronze, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna contour my nose today because I feel ugly, so. Nothing's going right in this video, but whatever. And for blush, what am I going to wear for blush? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go in with the Cheek Leader palette. And we'll go in with Coralista. It's very light. My tried and true um, glazed donut highlighter by Ofra. I'm gonna go in and blend everything because things don't look too blended. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. It looks kind of bad on my nose. I'm just blend it in. Kind of looks bad right there. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I haven't did a I haven't done a video in a minute, so I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna put my lippy on, and then we should be done. I don't remember. I think I had a specific lippy that I was gonna use. Oh yeah, I have. Some things I got from Ulta, like samples and my birthday gift. So doo -doo 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 -doo. I got this NARS little set. Let's look at these real quick. Oh, they don't look too bad. Um, they're not perfect, but whatever. I was gonna get little stencils, but then I just decided why? <laughs> why? And let's see if I can even open this. I couldn't open it last night, so oh I got it. So this is, I got a little bronzer and a little lipstick. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on and see if I like it. So, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to take some lip liner. I'm going to take this one, Ace Beauty, and just go over my lips. I'm gonna take my NARS. Um, what is this? I'm not sure what it is. Whatever. <laughs> and I think we're almost done here. I'm gonna take my favorite setting powder as of late. It's called 
the e.l.f. Stay On All Night fine, Micro Fine um, setting mist. I'm drying it up. And I think this is the final look. 